So with the budget this coming Thursday, there's a number of questions on, on investors' mind. First is what's going to be different this time around uh, following GST and demonetization. We're hoping really that there's nothing really too radical in the budget. We'd like the uh, finance minister to do more of the same, um, you know, keeping an eye on the fiscal deficit, maybe keeping it within a range of 3.2 to 3.5. Um, I think would be welcomed by investors, both you know, domestically and foreign investors. I think if we can see some uh, spending towards infrastructure, um, and particularly toward the rural infrastructure spending, I think that would give the economy the fillip it probably needs to accelerate, accelerate its growth going into 2018, 2019. The second big question that uh, worries the market actually more than the first um, is whether we're going to see any change in capital gains tax. Um, we don't think so. I mean, if he does decide to tink tinker around with capital gains tax, it might be in terms of the number of years uh, which you need to hold stocks um, you know, before capital gains is, is, is not paid. So maybe from one year to two years. Um, the reason we think maybe not is that the stock market is providing um, good dis divestment opportunities for the government and obviously with the oil price where it is today, um, they need to bring in revenues for, from other quarters uh, because they don't have the benefit of a lower oil price. So we think capital gains maybe not this time around uh, and that would be again a welcome relief for the market. So I think if the, if the finance minister can deliver on those two fronts, stability uh, whilst looking after the, the fiscal deficit, growth in terms of spending, in terms of infrastructure, then the economy in our, in our view can, can grow between 7 to 7.5% in FY18-19. And that should be a very good backdrop for earnings growth for the first time in maybe four to five years of around 15%. So I think, you know, the, the, there's a tight rope, uh, tight rope to walk for the, for the finance minister, but I think he should be able to do it. I don't think we're expecting too many surprises and too many changes, just more of the same, please.